Good morning. Tomorrow, Friday the 8th of May, marks 75 years since the victory in Europe Day. Today's e-assembly from our history teachers, Mrs Wilcox and Mrs Arnott, will share how Hampton School is remembering our community during World War II. In 1945, the announcement that Germany had surrendered and the war had ended in Europe was broadcast to the British people over the radio late in the day on the 7th of May. The BBC interrupted its scheduled programming with a news flash announcing that Victory in Europe Day would be a national holiday to take place the following day. Newspapers ran the headlines as soon as they could and special editions were printed to carry the long-awaited announcement. By early the next morning, colourful bunting, flags and flowers lined the streets of villages, towns and cities across Britain. People flocked to the streets and celebrated throughout the day. The school itself was closed for the public holiday. In the summer of 1945, though, the lion marked the end of the war and spoke of the vast overriding joy in the return home of our prisoners of war, old Hamptonians who fought but had been captured during the war. It is important to note that for most people in the country, the end of the war was an opportunity to be with people in their local community, to reconnect with friends and family and to share in the idea that the worst was over. As such, it seemed to me that VE Day in 1945 was an expression of hope for the future, which has been echoed today, albeit in a very different crisis, by Captain Tom Moore, the 100-year-old veteran of the war, now known to us all. He said of our current crisis that tomorrow will be a good day. We will get through this and come out of it stronger, more united and ready to face any challenge together. While we should resist making facile comparisons between the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic and those faced in 1939-45 by our country's wartime generation, there is undoubtedly much to learn from the courage and resilience of those, like Captain Tom Moore, who celebrated VE Day together and then channelled that collective spirit in attempting to forge a more cohesive and kinder society in the UK afterwards. This week, Hampton School is remembering its own stories of World War II. In a project begun by the History and Archives Club in September, a dozen lower school pupils researched the experiences of Hampton pupils during the Second World War. Supported by our school archivist, Miss Esmond, the club began its World War II exploration after finding a photo of the opening of the new school site in September 1939. We and the boys were struck by the idea that the school opened just as Britain went to war, and so the adventure into the archive began. We discovered that the outbreak of war in September 1939 disrupted the moving in, so no formal opening ceremony took place. But in many ways, this was the least of people's worries, as within no time at all, air raid shelters had to be constructed for pupils on the school site, anti-aircraft trenches had to be dug into the playing fields, and the tower had to be manned as a lookout post by volunteer air raid wardens. Pupils your age were watching for the Luftwaffe around the clock, we realised that it would be wonderful to share these stories with the whole Hampton community, so the pupils have turned what they discovered into a virtual trail on the school's website. When you visit this trail, you'll be able to find out the story of your school at war, from what happened to the school pigs on Christmas Day 1942, or what your basketball courts were used for in wartime. You can also find out more about the creation of the trail in an interview with some of the History and Archive Club students. To support the launch of the trail, the History and Archives Club had a considerable programme of events planned to take place in the school this week. For example, the atrium was to be a World War II museum. We had booked visiting speakers and a newspaper of World War II memories was to be published. We'd even asked Mr Nibbs to consider whether he'd be willing to parachute out of a World War II plane onto a school field. But, as we can't be in school, We've done our best to adapt and provide as much as possible online. You'll be able to watch Hampton Pupils in conversation with Professor of International History David Reynolds, Cambridge University. Having written books and articles and featured in many TV programmes exploring the international dimensions of war, Professor Reynolds shares some fascinating insights with us. And you can listen to interviews with myself and Mrs Arnott speaking with two leading historians, Dr Michael Jones and John Sheep exploring the national and local experiences of the war. We've also begun gathering vlogs from pupils giving their view of notable people who contributed to the country during World War II. So far, lower sixth pupils J.K. Moore and Josh Bartholomew give their insights and we'd love to receive more. Perhaps as a local figure or someone you've read about that you think should be remembered. It doesn't have to be someone involved in fighting. 
Finally, we are immensely grateful to you, our Hampton School community, pupils, alumni, parents and staff for sharing your family memories and experiences of World War II. These are available to read in a New Hampton at War section of the website. From the Great Escape to Operation Mincemeat, the stories from our community are fascinating and poignant, courageous and spirited. We hope they give you inspiration. Thank you for listening.